Hi all, this is Akit and uh, as uh, we had discussed uh, this class uh, in our previous tutorial configuring CGUI to your Ogre application and uh, here we have CGUI tutorial 1 class ex uh, inheriting, extending uh, to base application as base class <coughs> constructor, destructor, create scene, create fr frame listener, frame rendering queued, key press event, key release event, mouse move, press release event, uh, set light, set camera, uh, GUI components as button, checkbox, and radio button, and quit is the event to map within these GUI components, GUI input components, and this is the convert button ID basically this function uh, converts our OIS uh, uh, mouse button ID to uh, CEGY uh, button ID so that uh, CEGY uh, get interact uh, with OIS button ID uh, then we have an instance for ogre renderer of ogre renderer uh, and then we have an instance of ogre light in cpv file we have constructor destructor and create frame listener here we are doing lots of thing and uh, uh, as even i am not very much familiar with uh, cgy and so uh, I would like to suggest you uh, this tutorial again and uh, here this is the all code that is discussed so create frame listener is this and after that in frame rendering queued uh, we are just uh, calling inject pulse uh, pul uh, time pulse of CGY and passing uh, time since last frame of ogre frame event that we have <coughs> as this after that we have create scene in create scene we are calling set light set light here ambient light is this uh, 030303 red green blue and directional light is, in light is defined as this fine mm, okay and back to create scene and here we have set camera set cameras uh, camera position is this 60 position z axis and orientation of camera is towards origin again now set button basically in set button we are just initializing our ogre renderer of CGY and uh, uh, initializing all our uh, uh, resources of CGY again and uh, again creating a scheme basically uh, CGY works or calls window as scheme scheme dot scheme is a file format of CGY and uh, after that this is the call responsible for uh, uh, configuring your mouse cursor within your uh, CGY window or a scheme and after that we have window manager CGY window manager and uh, this window manager is creating a window or you can call it a sheet basically CGY in CGY we call a window as a sheet and uh, within this sheet uh, we are just uh, creating a quit button we had given it uh, given uh, the name of our button as 
uh, see your demo slash quit button and setting the text as quit okay udem this is basically uh, defining the dimension and uh, uh, this is for x and this is for y uh, this 60 is referring the pixel uh, pixel position uh, within your screen and uh, we are just adding the scheme to our uh, we are just adding the window or window component to our sheet window uh, uh, window component we are just adding window component to our window or sheet so that's all and uh, what we had done here in subscribe event uh, we had mapped uh, our quit to event clicked of this uh, button event so that's all for button event and this check event we are doing a uh, lot of same thing and here we are also setting the position for our checkbox and subscribe event event activated and the same quit as radio button is also same and here setting size and position and in subscribe event we have our quit event to event activated now let's back to create scene and after that we have key pressed fine key release is there we are not using uh, this key press and key release right now and as we have mouse moved we are just injecting our mouse position to uh, GUIC GUI systems and that is uh, basically C GUI system instance and uh, 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 this is all mouse moved and in mouse pressed we are just injecting our mouse button as converting the uh, OIS button ID to CGY in convert button ID that is this one okay so mouse pressed back to mouse pressed and in mouse release we are doing same thing inject mouse button up convert button id and os button id so uh, let's run it for first of all we uh, we will set we will test for button so this is all our CGI window uh, here you will notice the frame it the frame rates is not there the logo is not there and we have our button as I'm just pressing it it will exit the application since our quit event is defined as M shutdown as true to quit our application so this is for button and let's check it for uh, checkbox
so this is our checkbox and uh, as the quit event is mapped to its event activated I'm going to click it and application exits same with radio button again our radio button is mapped uh, with quit event as event activated so as I will click it the application will exit okay that's all for now in CGUI so goodbye